So hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free maths videos. This one's about ratio, R-A-T-I-O, which just means uh, how to split things up in certain sized groups. Okay, for example, my 21 pounds here, I'm going to split it up uh, in the ratio 2 to 5, which means, in reality, because 2 plus 5 makes 7, I'm going to cut up into 7 pieces and then send two of the pieces one way and five of the pieces the other way. So 21 divided by 7 is 3 pounds. 20, 21 pounds divided by 7 is 3 pounds. Okay, so you can see 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 7 times. Okay, and I take two of my 3 pounds and say that makes 6 pounds. And I take five of my 3 pounds and say that makes 15 pounds. So 21 split in the ratio 2 to 5 uh, the answer is six pounds to fifteen pounds. So that six belongs to the two parts, and that fifteen p belongs to the five parts. As you can see visually, anyway. Visually, did I say that properly? Anyway, um, example two. Uh, there's a recipe for poo is mud, water, and meat, and it's the uh, parts of the recipe are split in the ratio 3 to 5. That means 3 parts of mud, 2 parts of water, and 5 parts of meat. Um, and notice, of course, that uh, the, th the first bit in the ratio belong to the first bit in the recipe so and that's always true you know the second bit in the recipe belongs to the second bit in the ratio and the last bit or the third bit in this case um, in the ratio belongs to so in the recipe belongs to the last bit in the ratio anyway so and we're also told that we have ten lumps of meat so the last bit in the thing uh, in the recipe is meat and there's ten lumps of it how much you know, of water and mud do you have okay so we're told the last bit which is the five parts of the ratio okay and uh, ten so therefore ten lumps of meat is equal to five parts of the ratio so what is one part of the ratio well we've already can see it visually here but the working out is ten divided by five gives you two so one part of the ratio equals two lumps okay and um, so two parts of the ratio which is the water part okay is here and so two parts is equal to four lumps of water okay um, because one one part of the ratio is equal to two lumps so therefore two parts of the ratio is equal to four lumps and three parts of the ratio is equal to six lumps because three times two is six okay now it sounds a bit weird to say four lumps of water I realize that but uh... it doesn't really matter it's just maths hey we're just talking about sort of a general sort of situation so that's that 